In this video, we'll take up the homework on domain and range. So I gave you nine graphs, and every time you see a graph, you basically ask yourself, what are the possible values of x, and what are the possible values for y? So, um, you know, I'm going to show you the answer in a second, uh, but the graphs are really nice, so I, I want to reference them. Uh, every time we take it up because it, it's very visual uh, um, when you state the domain and range from the graph. So when I look at graph number one, uh, I see that there are no restrictions on x and y. So domain and range are all real numbers. Now, uh, for the first graph and the second graph, I try to make them look really similar. But for the second graph, you have this open circle, which means uh, that point does not exist in the graph, which means now you have a restriction on your domain and your range. X, for example, can't be one, and Y can't be equal to negative two. So let's look at the domain range for the first and second question. So for the domain, all real numbers, all real, uh, uh, range is all real numbers, but for the second question, X can't be one, and Y can't be negative two. For the third graph, you basically have, uh, X can be any real number. Now, if you look at all the possible values for Y, it's actually a little boring. <laughs> Y has to be two. There's only one number that Y can be. So if that's the case, it's very simple to state the range. Just say Y, or the possible values for Y is just two. You could just list it out. You don't need uh, what this is called a set builder notation. You don't need some fancy notation. The Y values are just two. You can list it out uh, as if you were given a, a set of points. Okay, so you know, four, you have a parabola. It's open down parabola. So for parabola, X is all real numbers, no restriction on domain, but uh, Y in this case has to be less than or equal to nine because nine is the optimal value and the parabola is opening down. Uh, for question five, you have your asymptotes and you can see that X can be any real number except for two. And for the horizontal asymptote, it's showing you that Y can be any real number except for three. Uh, six, you have an upside down V, but I would argue it's very similar to the logic of a uh, opening down parabola. So domain is all real numbers and the Y, the range is uh, Y values have to be less than or equal to negative one. All right. For seven, seven here, uh, you just have to look at the end point and it's telling you that, uh, X has to be less than or equal to three and Y has to be less than or equal to four. Okay. So for question eight and nine, I really broke down the domain. So let's take a look. So for like question eight, you have like three branches. Okay. So X can be any, um, let's say for this interval is, uh, what is it? It's five, it's negative seven to negative four. And then here is from negative two to two. And then, uh, what is this? Six to 10. And now you have to include the end point of two and include the point of 10 because you have a closed circle as opposed to an open circle. So that's how I got the domain here. Now as for range, uh, I just looked at the possible values of y and it's uh, greater than negative four, but has to be uh, less than or equal to four. Uh, yeah, and that, that's just by observation of the, of the graph. So number nine is basically the same idea. Um, I looked at the two branches and then, uh, yeah, so I looked at two branches and I, I studied the domain. And then I looked at the range of the possible values for Y. So Y can be less than or equal to negative one quarter. This one you have to approximate. Neg uh, I, I approximated one qu negative one quarter. Uh, same with nine over two, I approximated that. Uh, but actually nine over two, yeah, four and a half, four and a half is, is reasonable. This one, nine over two, I'm hoping we can agree on. Uh, one, negative one quarter, we, we can have some uh, small discrepancies there. Uh, but if this is on the test, I would make sure it's very clear and uh, we can all agree on the numbers. So there's your domain and range. Um, and, and this is all from the graph of the relation. Okay. Um, in fact, all of these are examples of functions because all nine graphs, they pass a vertical line test. Anyways, so uh, hopefully you're really good at coming up with the domain and range from the graph.